Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Happy Women's History Month, Jags. Welcome to another edition of Jag TV. I'm Awa. And I'm Shanae. If you ha have any questions or information you'd like aired, email nwjagtv at gmail.com. And make sure to follow us on Instagram at nwjagtv. In honor of Women's History Month, each day we will have a flag to commemorate the month. Today we will talk about Harriet Beecher Stowe. Harriet Beecher was an author and matriarch of a family committed to social justice. Stowe achieved national fame for an anti-slavery novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's Cabin highlighted the evils that laid within slavery and exposed the horrible circumstances for black people, opening the eyes of many who had never known the truth behind those doors. Although Harriet was a white woman, she continually fought as an abolitionist. We'll be right back. I'm not ready to wait 100 or 200 years for things to change. That I think actually that time is neutral. That it can either be used constructively or destructively. That human progress rarely rolls in on inevitability. It is through human dedication and effort that we move forward. Susan B. Anthony and her followers have won for women the right to vote. She successfully spanned the Atlantic from Newfoundland to Londonderry, Ireland, the first woman to make the flight solo. Already unique, the first woman to hold such high office, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi continues the tradition of service to India that is synonymous with the names of Gandhi and Nehru. Shirley Chisholm, first black woman elected to Congress, becomes the first black woman nominated for president. With Billie Jean King pushing us, the road ahead will be smoother for women. The future will be brighter for LGBT Americans, and our nation's commitment to equality will be stronger for all. Women's suffrage is about feminism, but feminism is about fairness. We will not let, let them take the rights of women who have fought for so many, so many decades to get to this point where we are at right now. I think smart, strong women are always considered difficult. You cannot fix the most complicated problems, but you can fight to make them better. What I would want for you girls is that, that you don't take no for an answer because no is just some bullshit word that someone made up. We are here to raise our voice. We are here to speak for these children and for all rights, for women's rights. We are here to take an action. to act. We are being betrayed by those in power. And they are failing us. But we will not back down. And if you feel threatened by that, then I have some very bad news for you. We will not be silent because we are the change and change is coming whether you like it or not. Welcome back. We would like to say a special congratulations to our two state champion wrestlers, Samir Brown and Yvonne Carlo. They have worked so hard and we couldn't be prouder. Another congratulation goes to our computer science students as we are proud to announce the recent participation of computer science students in some competition events. Jack Krager, Brian Olszak, Corbin Aquino, and Ben Osmond participated on February 25th in the UMD Java uh, programming competition. They placed fourth among eight Montgomery County schools at the event and 12th out of 31 teams total at the competition. This is the highest ranking of a Northwest team in the history of this event. Jack Krager, Corbin Aquino, and Tyler Singleton participated on March 4th with the Lockhead Martin Cyber Quest competition, finishing seventh out of 30 teams competing at the event. 
Congratulations to our teams and their achievements at the recent computer science events. This Wednesday, remember to wear your purple and embrace equity with us in honor of International Women's Day. The MSP would love to feature you. In order to be featured though, we need you to take a picture of yourself, add a quote about how you embrace equity, and you'll need to submit it to our link in our bio by March 8th. Their Instagram is at NWHSMSP. And to those MSP members attending the retreat on March 18th, please pick up and return your permission slip as soon as possible. Today, we will have an assembly with speaker Tony Hoffman for all ninth grade students during period six and seven. Tony Hoffman has a passion for helping individuals better understand the connection between mental health and substance use. For the past 13 years, Tony has devoted his life by removing stigmas associated with mental health and addiction by sharing his experience at professional venues and schools across the United States. Northwest is excited to be able to offer this opportunity to our students. The PTSA needs your help. Today from 5 to 9 p.m., come out and support the PTSA Tour Tacos fundraiser. And, for the, and before we end our show today, we have a quote for you. Ignore the glass ceiling and do your work. If you're focused on the glass ceiling, focus on what you don't have. Focusing on the limitations, then you will be limited. And that's all we have for you today. I've been Awa. And I've been Shanae. We'll see you for the next one.